Hi everyone, it's Gloria, and today I am doing my dollhouse video. You know, I told you that I've been working on this for about a month or a little more, um, making different additions to it, and so uh, I wanted to show you what I've done thus far. Now, for those of you that don't know the history of my dollhouse, I will tell you very quickly that <clears throat> uh, I started this in 1968, took me about 10 years to get the majority of the pieces done. I uh, more or less was satisfied with it at that time. Uh, did not add any additional pieces um, other than one or two until after I retired, and that was about six, five or six years ago. And at that time I added around 50 little individual pieces. This time I added an additional, if you count every individual thing that I made, around 80 different items um, and so uh, I'm very pleased with with the outcome of it you know a dollhouse is never finished um, I'm sure that as time goes on I will either replace or change or add to the dollhouse now originally my inspiration came from uh, the Woman's Day magazine July 1961 when I was about to turn 13 years old. Uh, it was July 61. I turned 13 in August of 61. It had an article called A Doll's House. I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, tried to make it uh, on my own then. I couldn't. I was way too young. Didn't have any experience or could not afford the, uh, you know, the, the pieces to make the house. So <clears throat> uh, in 1968, uh, I had a dream about the house. I d woke up and decided I wanted to make it. I got in contact with the magazine company. Uh, they were kind enough to send me the article from the magazine, uh, not the magazine itself, so that I would have something to go by. Um, the original instruction booklet was, of course, long gone. Nobody had that anymore, and, and I had thrown mine away. So everything was guesswork. I tried to make this on a 1 to 12 scale, that is 1 inch equals 1 foot. It's not true or completely true to scale. It's impossible to get it that way when you're using odds and ends, little throwaway pieces of things that I use. Uh, but somehow or another, I've just made it all work. And uh, I hope, hopefully you will see that for yourself as you, you see the dollhouse. But anyway, it is a country Victorian dollhouse. Uh, I keep it decorated for Christmas year round. Uh, it has truly been uh, a, the joy of my life uh, as far as uh, on the creative uh, end of, of the things that I have done. And, um, um, you know, I, I look forward to continuing it. Uh, you know, I don't think it will ever end. I'll always be adding something to it here and there. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to show you very quickly some of the uh, items that I use to make some of the things just so you get an idea of how that everything in this dollhouse was made from some little throwaway object or something uh, nothing that you see was used as its original purpose other than maybe two or three things that were made for a, a, an original dollhouse that were given to me by friends. And of course I have those little items in here and I will point those out. But um, I have a few things on the floor here that you will see that I have used uh, like the pieces of fans. Um, that is the piece of a fan and uh, the little bottle stoppers out of milk cartons and the rings. I keep all my beads and things like that stored in these little containers. I have three shoe boxes full of um, different things I've collected over the years because when you make miniatures, it seems like um, everything you see is through the eyes of a miniaturist. And I look at little throwaway parts to bottle caps and that sort of thing and think, well, what can I make with that? So I save it, you know. Uh, tooth, these uh, elegant toothpicks they're called uh, they're used as um, like for cocktail uh, a little hors d'oeuvres um, I have some uh, little glitzy um, bobby pins here that I've used just about all of them I had them in uh, silver and gold plated and uh, like fancy buttons I use those 
as well as I use the little back pieces that hold the buttons to the cards. You'll see that. So anyway, uh, just to give you an idea of, you know, there's another cocktail fork that I use a lot of those in my things. So it gives you an idea of what, what I have done. <clears throat> now, I will tell you that I have electrified my dollhouse with uh, Dollar Tree reading lamps. <laughs> They're battery operated. It really has helped, but they are white light. They are not yellow light, so they don't show the true color necessarily of the things. But uh, I tried to, to film this earlier with the shop light and the shadows were too too heavy. So I'm just going to, to do this with my phone so that I can get in the little uh, nooks and crannies and show you everything that I have done. So we'll start off with, uh, I made the little Christmas decoration for the outside of the house. Uh, it's going to stay up there year round. Um, I added the little bells and the little baubles and a bow and everything. Um, it was an original Christmas ornament that I, I took apart and made that. But here we go. This is the master bedroom. I'll give you a quick long shot of it. And then hopefully you'll be able to maybe tell what I have made things out of. If you do have questions, I hope I can keep this in focus. If you do have questions, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to tell you what I made the things out of, how I made them if you want to know. A little hat rack with the purses and the bonnet. little bed warmer over there in the corner. So hard to keep this in focus, sorry. Let's see. Little bedside table. The dress form. Little rocking chair with the buffalo plaid throw. The lady of the house likes to knit, so that's her knitting supplies. This little um, flower stand. Now the legs of the flower stand are made from the bobby pins. And if you see my hands or my fingertips, please excuse my pathetic looking um, fingers right now. You know, I can't get to a place to have my nails done and doing these um, doll house pieces the uh, the glue and all just literally tore my nails up so I have no nails right now <laughs> made the little bed tray uh, the legs or the little uh, cocktail forks I told you about I have a little napkin there with the napkin ring the little teapot and teacup or those are made from acorns from my backyard there we have the little washstand and the uh, chamber pot, a little footstool with the ladies' bedroom slippers on there. Her little vanity and chest of drawers. Her mirror and brush, her jewelry box, little doily, her perfume bottles, of course made from different beads and things. The trunk for off-season clothes or quilts or whatever, her little hat box. And here's the little kitty cats made from pom-pom fringe. The, the mama kitty, that's midnight, with her little babies, Holly and Ivy. They like to stay close to their mama. And they have a nice little bed over here I made. I um, wove that from pine straw from my backyard and made a nice little pillow in there. I was going to keep the kitties in that, but they are so dark you couldn't really see them. So 
they're out and about playing in the different rooms of the house. The lady of the house is busily decorating for Christmas, so she got all of her uh, wrapping paper and her uh, tinsel and things out from the attic, and here she's going through it. She's going to be decorating the house very shortly for Christmas. I'll give you a quick view of that room again. And uh, the little pictures, I wanted to say that, are um, copies that I had made, had reduced uh, of cross-stitch Christmas um, hangings. We'll move over here to the little girl's room. I made lots of new toys. All of these are actual, uh, they actually had these toys in Victorian times. So I wanted to keep that true to the time, even though this is my interpretation of those things. The little toy chest. And what I also had done was I had the article from the magazine right here reduced and I made an actual little magazine itself from that article. And so I have that in the dollhouse. I love the little merry-go-round I made. A little um, work table. The little girl is doing some building blocks now, but she also likes to color and do some of her schoolwork and homework. Um, her little kindergarten homework on that table, and she has a top there made from beads, and the handle is made from one of those fancy toothpicks. I have wall quote-unquote uh, pictures that are Beatrice Potter illustrations as are the quote-unquote books over here. Those are actual candies that uh, I've had for probably 15 years. I got them at the Dollar Tree a long time ago and saved them and I decided them, <coughs> pardon me, decided to leave them as is but um, they each have a different illustration from the Peter Rabbit books. They have Beatrice Potter on the outside and they're in different colors so I'm using those as uh, the little girl's library of books. I actually have made a dollhouse for the dollhouse. I'll bring that out so you can see that in more detail. It has a living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom. Let's see if I can actually, if you can actually see. I don't know if you can see, the stove has actual pots on the stove. I'm having a real hard, if I have to I'll pick up one thing with one hand, I can't seem to get the other in focus with the other hand. Let's see if I can try it this way. You can see the uh, pots that are there, and the table actually has um, little plates and glasses, which are Oh, goodness, I'm going to drop the phone here. Can't get it in focus. The plates are actually sequins. Anyway, in the, in the front of this house, oh, this was actually the original color of my dollhouse, but uh, I since have painted it a uh, softer blue, a Williamsburg type blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Put that back over there in the corner. And continue to show you around the room. I don't know why I'm having the hardest time getting this in focus. Why is it that nothing ever seems to go right when you want it to when you're filming? And I have no special equipment or anything, so, and no expertise in any of this, so it is what it is. I'm doing the best I can. 
and we come on down to uh, one of my favorite rooms is the kitchen because there's so much you can do with the kitchen, so many different things you can add. <clears throat> well, wait, let me back up here on the little girl's room and give you a complete overview of that room. And then I'll come back down to the kitchen. I'll give you a complete overview of the kitchen. And then we'll move on in and I'll show you. I made the milk can out of an Afrin nose spray bottle. She has some sugar on order because she's just about to make her Christmas cookie. She's already started her Christmas baking. As you can see, she has her rolling pin out and her cookie cutter. She's made a cake here, which um, one of the members of the family is about to sample. There's the little napkin with the napkin ring and the little glass that's made from a, a gelatin capsule, you know, like a vitamin type capsule and the little cup and saucer made from the acorn and then a little coffee pot here made from uh, beads and different little pieces and then she's made a wonderful cherry pie over here that's cooling off on the stove that's ready to be sampled shortly and she's churning some butter to make the cookies and cakes and all that this churn is a plumbing part I have no idea what it's used for but uh it was the right shape and about the right size, so I made a churn out of it. And then the little stool, the legs, of course, are uh, the little um, cocktail fork handles. <laughs> and then on her shelf. Now, that uh, lantern it was a gift from a friend. It was actually made for a dollhouse, so I did not make that. I made everything else here. The little bread peel for the oven uh, that's made from a coffee stirrer I got that at uh, a little coffee shop of course the copper parts are plumbing parts and you, sometimes you can pretty well tell what things are made out of okay there's the mop the broom and the dustbin over there I made the dustbin lately this is a scale that I made, went by a picture of an actual scale, and I did actually make the weights in different sizes. But the little bowls on the scale are made from the milk stoppers that I showed you, <laughs> is some of the things that I save that I use. The little herb plants in the house are actually lichen, that I got off of a tree branch out of the yard. There are three different types of lichen. Lichen is not really a true green color. It's more of a gray blue, but I dyed that with food coloring. And since they're micro plants, they're just really a good size for a dollhouse. And the little uh, planters are, of course, nuts, you know, nuts and bolts. And so is the canister set here and then the dishes in the china cabinet those are the little milk stoppers in the capsule um, glasses and then just different bottle caps for the cookie jar and in the casserole dish there and of course uh, the lady of the house has her wedding bouquet in a cloche which was really popular that uh, Victorian women saved um, special flowers and things like that butterflies uh, they were really into nature and they saved these things and dried them and kept them in cloches in their house i have a, a carpet beater against the wall uh, the little um, <clears throat> wash tub and washboard the wash tub is made from a, a medicine um, measuring plastic me measuring cup and then of course the washboard is made from corrugated cardboard and uh, a fireplace match and some other 
little pieces of wood and that sort of thing. Uh, new Christmas decoration on the door. I painted the little candy canes and made the bow and everything. The little hanging lamp. I made some leaves for the uh, flower arrangement. I've wanted to do that for years. I made the the uh, rolling pin. That's new. Of course, the little coffee pot is new. The uh, apron is new. All the planters are new. And I have a little welcome cross-stitch sign that's new. And the little cross-stitch sign here that says something about being home for Christmas. I can't remember exactly what it says. And see the telephone. Uh, have I made a little watering can to water these little plants and the little stool matches the table, the actual kitchen table. I'll back up and show you that. I wish I had better lighting, but I tried several kinds of lighting and it's just it's impossible to get in these little rooms. <clears throat> okay, here's the final room. This is the living room. I'll give you an overview of it. I added a lot of pieces to it. Of course, I have my little fire going. It's a little coal fire. Uh, I have a little tea light that uh, I took apart and I have some crushed beads um, that are orange and I painted with a tinge of black so they would look like they were soot covered. And I burned that uh, every year from uh, usually the last week in October to uh, first week in January. The, the battery lasts about two weeks and I just have to change the battery out. So they have a little fire going. Um, the little fireplace set made out of those fancy toothpicks, that's a new this year. Um, the little checker board. Whoops. It's knocked over the... Uh, of course, I made the harp. And uh, this right here is part, is the support blade of a fan that came with the uh, filigree scroll work on it and the base down there is a Ralph Lauren cosmetic bottle top and the this little um, little uh, rope type uh, metal bar there that is the handle of a um, oh my goodness um, can't think of the word right now. We'll get back to that. <laughs> These two little pieces, the, the music uh, stand and the little petite music chair, uh, those are made from that fan that I showed you. And of course, the leg from the, the legs are from the um, cocktail fork and then the little scroll work pieces of the legs are from the, the back of the button card and then the little sheet music I had some sheet music um, copies reduced there uh, at the copy store and then that's that little piece of the fan I'll show you a lot of these I've used up the pieces that I have so I don't have duplicates to show you but anyway that's this part right here with some little jewelry earring pieces for the legs. Checker set. The nativity. Of course, the Christmas tree made from uh, chenille sticks or pipe cleaners, you might want to call them. The Holy Bible, that's a real Bible. With glasses now, the little tea set I did not make that tea set, but it was not originally made to use in a dollhouse. That was a bracelet. It was a Christmas bracelet, and those were the charms. So they all have holes in them. But anyway, I took them and uh, made the um, little tea set for the table here. 
And back in the back, I made some um, that's an umbrella, and I made uh, some walking canes out of tooth the toothpicks and the beads and the back of an earring. Um, that's a Victorian uh, doorbell. I made the hourglass. That's out of those capsules and the fancy toothpicks and. There's little Christmas cards. Let me see if I can. It's really hard to get in these tiny little places. Let me see. Everything's so delicate it gets knocked over. Those are Christmas cards. The strings on the harp are um, fishing line. And the um, plant stand here is made from that fan and the little poinsettia. It's made from felt. Okay, and I, the most important thing I wanted to tell you about before I end is one of my very sweet subscribers, Diana. Crowfoot, uh, who had watched my original dollhouse video <clears throat> uh, quite a while ago, um, was intrigued and liked it, and uh, she went on an eBay search and found the original magazine, uh, July of 1961, Woman's Day, and bought it and sent me a copy of it. And Diana, you know I can't thank you enough. It means the world to me, and I'm going to show you all the actual magazine where my inspiration came from so many years ago. That was um, 60, no, excuse me, um, well, I've lost track now, 60-something years ago, and I started on my house uh, like 52 years ago, but this is it. And uh, here is the original article. That, the one that I have that I went by is just completely torn apart because I used it over and over and over. And uh, I, I guess she felt sorry for me. I don't know, but whatever. It was just a wonderful uh, thought and gift, and I will treasure it always. But the article was called A Doll's House. And as you can see, uh, I tried my best to copy as best I could the pieces that I could see here, the others I just uh, imagined. It did have um, an instruction booklet that came with it, and I had ordered that when I was a little girl, but that was long gone, and they don't have that anymore. I've tried to locate that, but can't find it. But anyway, I've added so, so many more pieces than is in this original book. But anyway, I have a... Um, a little uh, vinyl pouch that is attached to the back of my dollhouse and I keep this magazine in that uh, and it has a closure on it so it will be protected uh, throughout the years and uh, I'll always have that to refer back to. Now, I'm going to get up now and show you uh, the dollhouse from a distance. Now I do have to tell you that I never decorated the outside of the dollhouse and I never intended to. It, the reason was that uh, the house does not match up uh, the, the doors and windows, like if I were to put a, a chimney on the outside of the house over here, it would interfere with the window up there. And so, I, you know, I want to be realistic. And then it has the two doors, the kitchen door and the front door to the living room. So that would be two doors on the front. So anyway, I, d I don't have uh, windows or doors to the outside of my house. It is strictly to enjoy the furnishings and to enjoy it from this direction. And uh, this truly has been uh, a lifelong endeavor. Uh, it's a God thing. God has uh, led me in so many different directions and, and inspired me in so many different ways. And just when I thought I couldn't find what I was looking for, it was just like it would show up almost magically and I know that he had his hand in that and uh, I just uh, thank him every day for the ability that he has given me and 
uh, you know, the, the creativity that he's given me uh, to, to, in order to be able to complete this house uh, the way it is. Well, I really hope you all have enjoyed seeing this. I'm sorry it took so long, but there's so much to cover in this little house. It's really hard to do it uh, at, at a faster pace. And uh, I hope that you were able to see, uh, even with the lighting uh, being as it is, it's just so, so hard on these tiny little rooms to get every everything in and to get them to look, uh, you know, as they do in their natural light. So I will say bye for now, and I send many hugs and blessings to everyone from Gloria. And, of course, my little Lily Beth, can't forget her. Bye-bye, everybody.